What up, YouTube? You already know. Big Lou tapping on in with what to do with Big Lou NFZR2. No fly zone Reekins 2. Baby, baby. Salute to all the United States Armed Forces, Navy, Air Force, Army, Marines, and uh, all Allied Forces. Um, uh, special happy Veterans Weekend. Um, but this video is going to be about uh, UFC 281, um, which is going to be tonight uh, kicking off in a few hours. Um, 281. Um, we got a couple championship bouts on there, but we'll start with the uh, the, the, the main card. Uh, you got a lot of uh, legendary names on here. Great, good fighters, great fighters, um, and big names in their divisions, right? So we got uh, at lightweight, you got Dan Hooker, who he's, he's a well-known name, been around for some years now. 21 wins, 12 losses. Going up against Claudio uh, Pueyes, uh, who is 13 and 2. Um, you also got at Bantamweight, you got legendary fighter himself, Frankie Edgar, who is 23 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. Uh, uh, going up against Chris Gutierrez, who is 18 wins, three losses, and two draws. You got in the lightweight division, two guys that are right up there with uh, Islam is first and Charles Oliveira is second. And then you got these two individuals and Je Justin Gagey. Those will probably round out that division. Um, Dustin Poirier, 28 wins, seven losses, and one no contest going up against Michael Chandler, 23 wins and seven losses. Then you got the women's straw weight. This is a championship bout. This is the cold main event. You got Car Carla Esparza, 20 wins, 6 losses, going up against Whaley Zhang, 22 wins, 3 losses. I think she was the champ before. Um, and then, of course, the main, main event, uh, which I believe is a little premature. I don't think this dude de deserves his bout yet. Um, you got the champ, uh, Israel uh, Adesanya, who is 23 wins, one loss, uh, going up against Alex Pereira, who is six wins, one loss. Um, I don't believe in only a seven fight he should be fighting the champ already. You know, it's been built up, uh, and he's got bragging rights. You know, and you know, and it's been in the media because they fought twice. Sometime in, I think they were in China, I believe. In kickboxing, in a kickboxing uh, uh, organization that they fought in, and um, and Alex Pereira beat him twice. Once he knocked him out, and uh, the other time he won in the decision. Um, so, you know, this guy um, Alex Pereira, he came in the last fight. Um, he knocked out Strickland. Strickland's a big mouth. Strickland likes to talk a lot of shit. And of course, he was uh, Arasanya. Arasanya had a fight that day as well with uh cannoneer and um he uh he went the distance with Can cannoneer and won but uh per Pareda knocked out strickland right and he told strickland in the in the last uh press conference he told him he said you need to be worrying about that guy you're gonna fight because he's gonna fuck you up he goes don't you know basically be telling him stop talking shit to me you know, he's going to fuck you up. And he was like, well, tell me what not to do, Izzy. Tell me what not to do. You know, he was trying to make a joke out of it. And guess what? He got knocked out. Now, Pareda, I don't know a lot about him. I know he has, you can tell when he stands there, you know, when he's like this in front of what's in his face. He's a, a thin guy, slender guy. And he's got fucking mitts for his hands, his fists. He got big fists. And he's standing like this. And you can see that he's got size to his hands. And he's a knockout artist, right? He fucking, a lot of guys have gotten in there, got up and said that they've sparred with him and they feel a power with this guy like no other, no other right? Okay, so he's beat Arasanya before. This was sometime in like, I think it was the, the, between uh, 2010 and 2015, I believe. And um, the only loss 
Arasanya has is when he went up to go fight light heavyweight, right? Um, you're talking 20 pounds difference in weight. Uh, really made a difference for him. Um, but then again, you know, he might have just got caught with that lucky punch, right? Um, I don't think that, I think that Pareda should have had, a, you know, like at least 10 fights before he was able to get that title shot. You know, so I don't think, I don't know in UFC if they do the mandatory stuff like in boxing. Um, if they don't, by Izzy going ahead and signing off to fight this guy, he's giving him, you know what I'm saying? By him fighting him, he's gonna he's gonna get a bigger payday than he would if he was gonna fight, say Vittori or somebody, you know, somebody or Cannoneer, you know what I'm saying? So that's what champs do, man. They'll, you know, they'll they'll give those guys opportunities, man, unless it's being forced, you know, or mandatories and all that. Um, this is the problem. Everybody says, oh yeah, he beat I Izzy, he'll knock him out. The thing is this, man, is that Adesanya has improved his game since then. Otherwise, he wouldn't be champion right now. And the way he whooped Costa, Paulo, uh, Paulo Costa, Costa was like steamrolling and mowing over everybody. And when he got in there with our uh, Adesanya, Adesanya just handled him. You know what I'm saying? Um, he's got a couple good wins against Whitaker. He's got the, the Vittori wins, two of them. He's got, uh, he beat uh, 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 Anderson Silva, even though Anderson Silva was older. Uh, Joel Romero, he beat him. Um, you know, what I'm saying the dude got the dude got skills, and he's getting better. Just like Kamar Usman, getting better. Francis Ngannou getting better. Um, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, Kamar Usman got beat his last fight, but that was, be, you know, he got a good kick. You know, the dude did his, he 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 he, you know, how would you say that? He mastered that that move. You know, what I'm saying for him to act one way, him to drop his hands to try to block. And then come up and boom, kick him, you know. So, regardless, Kamar Usman is still fucking badass, you know what I'm saying? All these guys, and not to mention they're Africans, right? Uh, African descent. They're actually from Africa, born in Africa. Um, Kamar Usman came to the States, you know, so he's been in the States a long time, went through the Texas. Uh, our Sanya went through New Zealand, I believe it was, New Zealand, from Africa to New Zealand. And then uh, Francis Ngannou went from Africa to France, I think it was, right? Spain and France, one of those. You know what I mean? So these guys are hungry. It just goes to show that the UFC is international, right? Uh, they give cats, you know, when they when they get the buzz about these guys. Same thing with, like, uh, all everybody. Conor McGregor from Ireland. Um, Whitaker. Whitaker's also from, where's Whitaker from? Whitaker's from, is it New Zealand too? Maybe New Zealand, uh, Australia. I think it's Australia. Um, and uh, uh, Khabib and uh, Islam from G Dagestan, right? Uh, it just shows, you know, Patty Padmill, all the guys from from the over the uh, UK. You know, it just it just uh, it's it's awesome to see all that, right? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go with uh, Adesanya on this. Um, I just. You know, if he don't go and try to mix it up and try to sling him from the shoulders like a Tommy Hearns type, uh, uh, Marvelous Hagler type fight, uh, then I don't think, he, you know, he'll be okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, if he attacks the legs and does whatever, you know, he's got to do because these guys ain't going to be wrestling, right? Even even with Arasanya when he fights, even if somebody takes him down, he finds a way to get the fuck up and get back on his feet. You know what I'm saying? These guys are both two strikers, you know, and, and, and Adesanya has done some damage to people too, though. To uh, Kelvin Glass, what was it? Gastelum, how do you say his name? Remember that round he came out? He said, I'm willing to die. He was talking to himself. He ended up dropping him, what, four times or something like that. So I'm going to go with Izzy on this, not just because he's a champion, but just because I've, been, I've seen improvements. And when he gets in there where he's got to raise the bar, he, he does what he got to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, his last fight with Jared Cat, kind of near, was kind of uh, mediocre. But I believe him being there with this guy, he's gonna do his thing. And I, me, I just don't like the cockiness with, with, uh, with, uh, with dude, with uh, Pareda. Some of the things he's been doing, like um, the hoverboard thing, the, excuse me, the tennis ball. When you know, I don't dig all that stuff. Um, I don't dig all the shit talking like that. Um, but I'm gonna go with Izzy. I think Izzy's humble. He's humbling himself. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
yeah, he can talk some shit, you know what I'm saying? But he's been backing it up. And old boy's backed it up too. Another thing I'm going to say is that both have losses in the in MMA. You know what I'm saying? Izzy's got 24 fights, 23 wins, only one loss. Again, he went up in weight. 20 pounds up, he went. Um, and Pareda is 6-1. and one. So a lot earlier in his career as far as MMA, and he has a loss. They're human. They're not like they're unbeatable. They're human, right? Pareda's already showed that he knocked out, he can knock out, that Izzy could be knocked out. And there's no doubt in my mind that Izzy can't knock him out. If he, you know, everybody has a puncher's chance, especially, like I said, these guys are strikers. Meaning, if you guys don't know, meaning they're on their feet, punching and, you know, kicking on their feet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a shooter, somebody that likes to shoot in and, and then try to take down, you know, then you got your wrestlers, right? So I'm going with, uh, I'm going with Izzy, uh, Izzy, Izzy, Israel, Adesanya. I say it'll be a five round. It'll be a it'll be a, a split decision. I I'm gonna say. Um, as far as the women, Esparza and Zang, Zang I, I couldn't tell you. Um, Portier and Chandler. Oh man, that's gonna be a good one. Uh, that one could go either way, man. I I, I mean both. Look, they both have seven losses. Portier has 28 wins and Chandler has 23 wins. Um, they both were beat by. Uh, they both were beat by. Um, uh, they both were beat by uh, what's his name? Frick. Uh, Charles Oliveira. Um, I think they're both beat by Khabib too. I'll go with Dan Hooker uh, over Claudio Poeyes only because I don't know anything really about Poeyes. Now you know what? I'm gonna ch I'm gonna switch that up. I'm gonna go with Claudio on that one. I'm going to go with Claudio on that one, and I'm going to go with Frankie Edgar just because Frankie Edgar is OG, and I like OGs, man. Um, let's look into a little bit. Um, let's see. Dent, Dustin Portier and Michael Chandler, common opponents. Okay, they didn't really tell me that. Let's see. Let's do this. I know Dustin Portier is from um, Louisiana, right? Let's look at his. Um, I want to see who's he's fought. I know he's fought. Dustin's fought. Um, let's look. Okay, so he's twenty. He's like I said, he got twenty-eight wins. Oh, this one says twenty. Yeah, twenty-eight wins. Fourteen of his wins are by knockout. Seven are by submission, and seven are by decision. On his seven losses, two of them are by knockout. Three by submission and two by decision, and he got the one no contest. Let's look at his uh, his mixed martial arts. So his last fight, he lost to Charles Oliveira in the submission rear naked choke. He's beat Conor McGregor twice. Uh, he beat Dan Hooker. He lost to Khabib. He beat Max Holloway, Eddie Alvarez, Justin Gagey, Anthony Pettis. No contest, Eddie Alvarez. He lost to Michael Johnson. He has lost to Conor McGregor. So he beat Conor twice and he lost to him once. Uh, he's beat Cub Swanson. He's beat uh, Max Holloway twice. So he has beat Justin Gagey. I didn't know that till now. He's got some good names on his resume there. Uh, let's see who. Let's compare him to uh, Michael Chandler. Chandler, I know, has 23 wins, right? And he's from Nashville, Tennessee, where he lives. He's born in Missouri. Uh, out of his 23 wins, 11 are by knockout, 7 by submission, 5 by decision. And his 7 losses, 4 are by knockout, and 3 are by decision. Um, okay, his last win was against uh, Tony Ferguson. That was a good one. Kicked him. Okay, he lost to Justin Gagey. He lost to Charles Oliveira. He beat Dan Hooker, and he beat Benson Henderson, he beat, uh, he lost, let's see, he beat Brent Primus once and lost to him, he beat Benson Henderson twice, he beat uh, Patricky Pitbull twice, no, 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 he lost to him once and he beat him once, and he lost to Will Brooks twice and he lost to Eddie Alvarez, and he beat Eddie Alvarez, so what I see there is that 
he beat it. He's lost to Eddie Alvarez and beat Eddie Alvarez, and Portier beat Alvarez. And then um, Justin Gagey. Um, Michael Chandler lost to him, but Portier beat him. So, and then they both lost to uh, Charles Oliveira. So it's it's kind of I don't know. Like you can go either way on those. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I say, man, I don't know because I see Wicked on both. I, I, I'm just gonna go. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say Portier because of the resume. His resume is a little bit more uh, thicker as far as well-known fighters, ex-champions, ex-contenders. Um, you know, so I'll go with De Dustin Poirier on that. I really are kind of like, eh, you know what I'm saying? But I've seen Chandler get some good, vicious wins with kicks, with different things. And uh, he's a little fire plug type dude, stocky. You know what I mean? Um, we'll see. So I, I got Arasanya in a decision, split decision. I got, uh, I'll go with uh, Frankie Edgar because he's an OG. I got um, Claudio. Claudio in the hooker fight and I'll go with Portier Dustin Portier on the Portier on the Chandler Portier fight but I'm kind of like I said I'm on the fence maybe I I end up dropping a little a little video later saying switch my changing my mind I don't know I'm kind of on the fence with that but I will say with the main event the men's main event the women's I don't really I, I don't I couldn't tell you but the men's main event Adesanya against Pareda I just feel that arisanya has got these game is elevated so so much just like I was saying about Leon Edwards you know Leon Edwards last loss was in 15 to Kamar Usman and he was dominant in the seven years other than the time when Nate Diaz uh, uh, rocked him really bad that was pretty the only time I really seen him like in any trouble but uh, Ardesanya is a beast he's a warrior the, his actual like I said these guys are from Africa these guys are really um, just like the people that have uh indigenous blood in them uh the africans you know indigenous people of, of the of the continent of africa they have warrior blood in them as well and i believe he's a warrior and i believe that he's not to say the parade is not because brazil they got indigenous people as well and i just believe though that he's really when he says he's willing to die die on the shield he really means it and i just think over the years he's improved too much and he's and he's and when he needs to step up against a, a well-rounded opponent that's tough, um, he'll do so. So those are my those are my predictions. Again, our Adesanya in the main event, five round split decision. I got Portier over Chandler. I got Frankie Edgar, OG, and I got uh, Claudio over Dan Hooker. That being said, again, salute to all the armed forces. Happy Veterans Weekend. And uh, Big Lou's tapping on out.